welcome back and let's go ahead and start off with our current temperatures around the area and we're waking up on a mild note already looking at temperatures well in towards the mid and upper 60s for the area even some temperatures hovering in between 69 70 degrees right now we're looking at 70 degrees in Macon slightly cooler as you head farther and farther north with 65 degrees in Otomo but overall we're looking at our area receiving temperatures in the lower 80 degree range so unfortunately it is feeling more like the end of summer than it should be the start of fall but we will see things starting to get back to normal as we head in through the rest of the work week now as for some visibility we do see some patchy fog building into a lot of our low-lying areas so right now eight miles of visibility really across the board Fairfield Ottumwa and Kirksville and then slightly more if you're heading southeast from Kirksville out towards where Quincy is so if you are getting out that that way this morning you're looking at less of a foggy condition as you head farther and farther east. As for what we can expect through the rest of the day, we will start off with cloudier conditions. Not too much for the area. We are looking at a lot of hit and miss cloud cover extending into the afternoon hours. And then as we get into those later afternoon, early evening hours, we're going to watch that cloud cover depart. As for temperatures, about 84 degrees for the high temperature today. So 13 degrees above what is normal for this time of year. But we're going to be watching as dew point temperatures rise as well. The good thing is we have a strong wind helping move air around in the afternoon taking away any of that heat index for us. So winds out of the south at 15 to 20 miles an hour. Sustained winds and gusts are going to be in excess of 20, 25 miles an hour at points. So a bit of a breezy afternoon. As for tonight, unfortunately, still on the mild side, you're going to want to have your AC on. Close those windows because temperatures in the mid and even in towards the upper 60s for us. We're going to watch as the cloud cover starts to build back in as well as we head in towards early tomorrow morning. It's going to be the leading edge of our first round of rain moving in Tuesday night. And let's go ahead, jump into the future cast. So all this is forming along a cold front. You can see off towards the northwest, but it's going to take some time to get here. It's really a stationary cold front. It's going to get really stalled right on the corner of Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, and Kansas. It's really going to stall out right there for today. And then we're going to watch as all of the moisture starts to really form along that cold front. We're going to see the cloud cover extending out early Tuesday. There it is. And watch as we just get an explosion of showers and storms along that cold front. A lot of energy associated with it. Now, unfortunately, we're looking at our jet stream picking up moisture and warmer air from the Gulf of Mexico, pushing it into our region, and that's going to allow those rainfall amounts to jump up in towards the one and a half, potentially even more towards the two to two and a half inch range, which is good for the areas that we need the rain. But unfortunately, we could be looking at it all occurring in a shorter amount of time, leading to some flash flooding, but we will be monitor monitoring it throughout the week. So we'll keep you all updated on that. But this moves in early Wednesday morning. So we're looking at an overnight event into the early Wednesday morning hours. So your commute to work Wednesday morning may be a bit on the hectic side with an active weather situation occurring. And now as for the rest of Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to watch as this system just continues to roll on through what we call some training storms are going to be occurring, especially on Thursday, where we pick up that system early Thursday morning and then on and off throughout the day into the evening hours on Friday. We're looking at consistent rain chances. And as for those rainfall amounts through Thursday, about a half of an inch. And by the time we get into Friday morning, a big jump up towards about one and a half towards two inches of rain. And as for your extended forecast, that cold front will be bringing much cooler temperatures as well. Now stick with us. Tech Bites is coming up next.